Hello there and welcome to today's little class. It's been a while since I've done a Saturday class uh, on here. I think it was probably the end of July when I did my stamper stack. Um, talking of which, talking of stamper stacks, I do have another stamper stack that I will be running on the 2nd of December, which is a Saturday. If you will be fed up of making Christmas cards by then, come along and join my all occasion stamper stack with the gorgeous meandering meadows papers. In fact, shall I just get them to show you? Here we go. So these are the gorgeous papers that we will be using at the next online Saturday class. They aren't available for general purchase yet. They will be available for customers to purchase on the 7th of November, but they are absolutely stunning. Just look at that. And we're going to be doing some glorious cards with them. Really simple, and you'll be able to make up to 24 cards in one day. So we have some really simple makes. Nice cards to have in just because. And there's two options. There's an option just for the papers and the kits or an option for the stamp set too. Anyway, on to today's crafting. And we are going to be using the Marvelous Masks, okay? And these are only £10. And this is what you get. I've just cleaned mine, so I've got bits of kitchen roll stuck to them. When we're only using the sunflowers today because they are my favourite, but you get these, they're very much, they're called masks, but they're very much like stencils. So you get this lovely leaf one. You've got a Christmas one. You've got like a gingham one. So those are four rectangular ones. And then you have these four sunflower ones that work together. So as you can see, there's a little notch here. Now, when I've watched some people on YouTube, they've had the notch to the right. So I might change it up for this video. Um, so this, it comes in four parts, the sunflower. So you've got the, the sunflower and then you have the leaves that sort of line up with it like that. If you line the notches up. I'll be honest, I'm not a fan of this leaf. It's like a leaf that's sort of drooping over, which does happen with sunflowers. I tend to use these, so I don't really line the leaves up. I just move them about. Then you have the circles, which line up to do the centres. And again, let's... I mean, I don't think I did my cards wrong, but I've seen others do them to the right. As long as, as, long as you're... You keep the notch to the same side and then you've got like this little accent then which creates um it really makes the center pop so i am going to talk through what we have in our kit now i've only had two lovely ladies join up for this everyone else is welcome to watch along uh, of course um, if you have watched and enjoyed, you can follow my link on the video description and buy me a coffee. That would be really appreciated to help me be able to keep producing these videos. OK, so in the kit that I sent to the lovely ladies, we have the following bits of card, full sheets of card. Now, I don't know if I put these to the front or the back, but there are two of the standard thinner basic white sheets and then at the back or it could be at the front i always keep them separate though there's just one of the thick oh no this no i'm lying there's two of the thick so i think i've put the thin ones to the front they're for stamping on these ones are for your card bases and then we have a full sheet of pecan pie that's one of our new colors old olive that's one of our old colors and daffodil delight which again is an old color or a, a an old favorite you will have extra card stock left. Um, I'm, we can make six cards today. They are actually quite simple, but I just wanted to show you how the masks work. And you will have 
extra card left over you'll certainly have a sheet of the old olive left over and you'll have half a sheet of the pecan pie and hopefully some white so you can make some more cards and i would love to see that okie doke also i included in the kit a large blending brush and a small blending brush and then i will be using two sponge daubers for the centers okay i've also chosen just to use one stamp set and i am using the biggest wish stamp set which actually coordinates with the more wishes stamp set from the mini catalog this is a really really simple block stamp set which i love and then color wise you need to use a yellow i'm using daffodil delight and you need a green and i'm using old olive okay and then you could do with two different shades of brown so i'm using pecan pie and i'm using early espresso and they're the inks that i'm going to be using today okay doke now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take one sheet of the basic thinner white card it's a4 and with a pencil if you have a pencil i had misplaced my pencil so unless i've got one in this bag here i need to go buy some pencils because you could do with rubbing it out afterwards so never mind i will just have to use a pen and cut that bit off let me look in my pencil case Honestly, why do i have a pencil never mind julie we'll use a pen okay so it doesn't matter actually do you know what i'm not going to use i'm not going to write it draw it on but what you can do is if you have a pencil go across the top of your paper and mark i've got it portrait and mark at 10.5 mark in the center just with a little pencil you can if you want draw a line but you'd have to rub that out and then you're going to come down here and mark at 14.8 if you mark at 15 it's fine it doesn't matter if it's not spot on but what i'm going to do is i'm going to pop my ruler there so i know where ten and a half is all right so i've just turned it upside down so i know where the ten and a half is and what i'm going to do first is i'm going to take actually i'm doing the wrong card first <gasps> no let's do this one first let's do this one first we're going to do what we call a one sheet wonder all right so um yeah yeah we'll do that we'll do that so I'm going to pop this, I might want to move that up here and just measure that that sunflower is sort of in the middle. Ten point, yeah, the centre is where I want it to be and I'm going right to the top. So you, oh, you will also need some washi tape or something like that would be handy. Some tape just to tape your mat down. okay and then can you see that on the video yeah that's fine i'm gonna take my blending brush that's got the yellow on now you can wash these out and i'm gonna tap it in here and i'm gonna in a circular motion rub over the image and go right to the outside edge Now, what you can do, if, I don't know if you can see on the video, you can sort of manipulate this and create a bit of an ombre effect. So you can add more to the just the centre and make it really pop in the centre and not go right to the edge with it. This works particularly well for the, for the larger one. And then we'll go over these, work from the middle out to the edges like that 
in a circular motion. Okay. And then we're going to move that. And then that we have that. And can you see that um, oh, I've got a little mark there? That ombre effect I was talking about, it gets a bit paler towards the edges. Now you can move this around a little bit, but what I want to do is I want to go all the way down, like in a line, okay? And then I want to go across. So I'm wanting to make a cross, really. So it's probably easier to go all the way down first. But I might just twist it a little bit like that. I'm just going to check where halfway. Yeah, that would be quite nice. There's no um, there's no right and wrong with this. So I've just turned it a little bit and I'm going to... It's quite um, quick to do. So if you're wanting to make a batch then they're dead easy to do. Okay, then just gently remove that. That's good. And then we'll carry on down here. And I might just do this one. Oh, I think I'll keep that one straight like that. This one's just going off the edge, but that's all right. <laughs> I'll ink up my desk. I don't know if you can see. I'm probably off camera now. Move that up a little bit. Oh, no, you can still see. Okay, so we should have a nice band of sunflowers going down the center of the card now if we pop this here we can see where 14.8 is or 15 is good enough so that's about here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just i want to have my sunflowers coming across so i may i might be a bit strategic here And I might do them individually, yeah? So I might just do the one here like this to fill in this gap. Just be careful when you're only doing one because we don't want to start doing the other ones. So I've done that one there, look like that, just to fill that gap. And then I might do half of this one, yeah? This is probably going to look very, very different to my samples, <laughs> but that's good. It'll be different every time you do it, this. Okay. And... Oh. I think I might add both of them here. two smaller ones you can always add more but you can't take away and that's the same when you're using the ink as well okay so we've sort of oh look I've, I've got the edge there uh oh I said don't go too mad and I've got I can see a shadow never mind <laughs> We'll have to stamp a greeting over that. 
Um, right, so we've got a bit of a cross there going down. Now what we can do, you can put that yellow ink away, the daffodil ink away for a bit and take the old olive and bring in the leaf dies. Now, as I mentioned, I don't like this one. Um, I'm not a fan of it, but I love the larger one. And what I'm going to do is I'm not really using tape for this. I'm just going to hold this down. Now, what you might want to do is start. Don't go straight in on the leaf. When we did the, when we did the actual sunflower one we started on the bit of plastic so it got off a lot of the excess and we didn't we didn't end up with that clump of ink so what i would suggest is start off rubbing and then come down so you don't end up with a really dark bit and what i like to do with this is actually make it quite dark towards the top and do a definite ombre so i'm going to show you you see like that so I love that leaf. I think I'll do another one like that up here. Again, start off on the plastic and go down. And this might, I might do this just in one go. Boom. Yeah. So I might want to do this one here where I've inked a bit by mistake. To cover a bit of it up. Like that. And then I might, I do like the smaller one. Now, a nice thing with the smaller one, what you can do is start off and then do one and turn it slightly and do another one. So, it, so it's like a two, like that. All right. How's that looking? It will build up nicely. Okay, so let's add one down here. I think I'll add one here. Oh, I've got a bit of a clump of ink there, which is what I told you not to do. I didn't start. Oh, not too bad though, not too bad. I'll do the smaller one here. And then turn it slightly. You can overlap it a bit as well. You can even take some of the ink off the stencil because it's not dried up or anything. Should we have a little one here? I'm not even going to reapply. I'm just going to take ink from the stencil like that. We'll have a large one here. Um, should we have it here? Oh, it's filling up now. You can always add more of these um, at some point, you know. And don't be afraid of um, them going off the edge. You don't have to get the full leaf on. And you can have them paler, so you can do them really light, like that. Because, you know, not every leaf in the garden is the same colour. enough there i think it could be a little bit overkill if i do any more all right so we're all a bit inked up with that and now i'm going to take the pecan pie which is a new color and as you can see this is the sponge dauber i've been using for the pecan pie and i'm just going to take the circular one that's not the accent so what you can do is line this up like that and you will see a little bit of the inner 
part of the... Now, I'm not going to apply any ink because I think there's already a lot on there. Oh, a little bit more. You don't need a lot and it doesn't take long to do this. So we're just going to do that. Look at them coming to life. Um, did I do a full set here? Yeah. Oh, that was the one that we twisted a little bit, wasn't it? So just line it up. You will see where it fits. What I've did there is I took some of the ink off and put it on the actual um, mask. They're coming to life now. If you don't want to use it all, all the ink takes some excess off. You can always pick it back up like that. So I only actually inked that up once. Now these were the individuals, weren't they? So just work out how. Pop it on there, take some excess off and come back for later. This one here was like that, I think. I'll take some of that ink there. Oh, look at that. And then we've just got one more to do. This one. Now, just be careful here because half's on the desk and half isn't. There we go. Oh, look at that. We're nearly there now. How's that looking on screen? Lovely. And then finally, I think this is my favourite part, actually. We're going to now line up these. Now, I just tend to hold these in place. You can... Um, you can stick them down if you want. And we're going to take the early espresso ink and the dauber. You don't need to take the ink off here. And I'm going to daub, but I'm going to push rather than rub because I want to push into all those little nooks and crannies, those little holes. So I'm not I'm not doing the same method. I'm sort of pushing down. You can rub afterwards, but I want to push the ink in and then rub. Push and rub. Let's see. Ta-da! Look at that. And then they really, really come to life. So this was the one where we twisted it a little bit. So just line it up. Now, if you've only got one ink colour in the brown, if you've not got two browns, what I would suggest is when you do the first part, take a lot of the ink off and just... Um, do it pale and then go full strength on this bit yeah that didn't go too well that one but And if you want to um, purchase these, then the link to my store, if you're in the UK or Europe, is on the video description. And they are called the Abundant Beauty Decorative Masks. As I say, they're only £10 for all three. No, not all three. For all of the masks. So this for, there's a snowflake, the gingham, the leaves... And then obviously these that we're using. There we go. Okay, so we've made like a whole, well, not quite a whole sheet. So we've made what we'd call a one sheet wonder. Oh, what's that mean, Julie? What does that mean? 
It means we're going to make four cards from this. Four lovely cards, okay? So you will need your trimmer now. All right. And what we're going to do first is we're going to cut it into quarters. All right. So I'm going to pop it in the trimmer this way and cut at 10.5. So we're cutting that in half like that. All right. And then we're going to turn it and cut it at 14.8. And you're like, oh, don't cut it, don't cut it, Julie. Okay. And then turn this one and cut 14.8. Now, it's at this point where you might want to think, oh, I'm not sure I like that. I don't know if I, I want those leaves there. I don't know if that works. I might want to do some more around the edge. Uh, we are going to use our trimmers um, again in a minute. But you've got four, four pieces now to create. Now, I'm going to show you the cards I've made already which I probably should have done at the beginning. But if I, I don't know if I can remember. <laughs> Does that go like that? Well, that was maybe that, that's maybe how it started, no. Anyway, you get the drift. Um, these were the four. So I've done one that way. Well, I've actually done two that way. Okay, I've done one that way and one that way. So I've done two portrait, two landscape, and I've stamped over the image. There's quite a little bit of white space left, but I love how they've turned out. You could add some gems and things like that. So let's take a look at these, and I'll, this is my creative process. So I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, right, I love that, love that. Do I like it like that? No, I think I, I think I like it like that. But are those leaves upside down? I think I like it that way. So what I'm going to do is, this one's going to go this way. I'm going to trim half a centimetre off this side. So I'm taking it down to 10. Like that. And then I'm going to take half a centimetre off the top. So I'm taking that down to 14.3. And then I'm left with this now because oh look that was the one where i got the shadow i've got a bit of white space here um i'm gonna pop that i'm gonna pop that there i want that one so i know i want it that way up all right and then we'll look at the rest of them okay so this one hmm not sure if i like my leaves i think i quite like that one that way up but then are those upside down this is my process. Am I going to... Is it too much? That looks upside down. Do you know what? I think I'll have it that way. So I'm going to take off half a centimetre here. Take it down to 14.3. And take this down to 10. And then that is going to be that way. I said, didn't I? Did I say that way? Oh, well, it's going to be that way now. It looks better once you get the greetings on. So I'm leaving those on my desk the way that they're going to be. They're just out of, out of sight. So I've got one from the left, one from top. So this one, maybe I'll have this one right. They look upside down. So maybe I have this one doing bottom. Yeah, let's have this one as bottom. So we'll take that as 10. Oh, the doggy wants to go out. So I'll just cut this. Hang on a minute, you. Oh. and that one's gonna go there like that and then this one i'd got i'll have that as the left yeah perfect so we'll cut that 14.3 and we'll cut this to 10 and then we will do some stamping because i've not done any stamping yet so this is the way that I want them. And you don't have to have one left, one right, one top, one bottom. That's just how I've chosen to do it. Okay. I'll do a little bit of stamping next. So now it's time to do a little bit of stamping. And as I mentioned, 
I am using the Biggest Wish stamp set. It's been out a while, this. It's really, really good. It matches with the More Wishes, completely coordinates, and you can you can work together with them. For example, in the More Wishes Christmas one, you've got the word Wishes. So if you team it with this, you can then do Birthday Wishes. Likewise, in the Christmas one, there's the word Christmas and Merry, but you can do Happy Christmas. So it, whoever's designed these, fantastic job. So actually... On these ones, I am going to do something a little bit different because I want to send some cards to my team. So I don't want to do um, the happy birthday and I don't want to do, well, I could do thanks, but I wanted to do like a general hello friend because to send some team well done. And I thought I may as well make the most of my time. Now I'm just going to clean my stamps because it's been a while since I used this one. And I don't know if they're clean, but they are now. So I could have put them all on the block at the same time, actually. That would have been most use of my time. Okay, right. So nothing too taxing here. Um, if you have this stamp set, I do recommend that um, you use it. Well, I recommend that you use all your stamp sets, but I do recommend it if you don't already have it. I don't know how much longer this one will be in the catalogue. It's been around a while. It's a bit of an old timer. So what we're going to do, I am actually going to show you a little trick. I'm going to line up my hello friend and they're actually face down. They're the way that I would be stamping on the desk. Well, not on the desk, but I'm going to line them up. So hopefully they are straight. And then I'm going to take the block to them. This is block H. It's my favourite block. And hopefully that's lined up really nice and I'm going to use this for these two because um, there's quite a bit of space that I want to fill so I'm going to use early espresso I'm going to stamp across here and you know what I'm actually going to stamp a little bit over the leaf So there we have that one. And then here we'll do the same. I'm going to stamp. There we go. So I've got two. And then I've now got these two. Now, they're not... Um, in the place I don't want to do the two bold ones for these I want to have a little bit of different stamping so I'm going to just stamp the friend on its own and I'm going to stamp that there and I'm going to get the other hello that's in the other font that's in the more scrolly font rather than the block font and I'm actually going to stamp this in uh, I nearly said pumpkin pie then. It's pumpkin season, isn't it? I'm going to stamp it in pecan pie. Because I love that like that. So we've got that one. And then finally. I've got a lot of ink on my block then. But it's, I've done okay. The same here with this one. Oh, I've got some ink. Uh oh, and I've got a bit missing, can I? Right, I've rectified that. I've got a little bit of ghosting. It's just a bit of extra love on the card. Look, it's on the bottom of my block. I've used a block that was a bit big there. Right. 
So what we need to do is I'm going to have a close those ink pads back up. And you need to take those two pieces of the thick white, you know, that I told you were at the back of your um, card packs. Mine are up here. I've probably got ink on my fingers. So we're going to take the first one. Pop it, mind you, make sure your cutter's out of the way. And we're going to score it at ten and a half. And we're going to flip it and cut at 14.8. Now, I should have said right at the beginning of this video, you can pause and you can, you know, catch up and things like that. Score at 10.5 and cut at 14.8. Now, I've got another two cards to make with you. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do those um, in a separate video. So watch out for another video after this one. Okay, so we now have four card bases and we have four pieces of decorated card. So I'm using my stamping seal, which I love now instead of using my Tombo glue when it's for large pieces. So that's going to go there. This one's going to be like a tent fold one. There. I've got a bit of glue on that one. It's gone. It's gone. Be gone. And then the final one. So there we have four really simple cards made with, we'll do that, the Abundant Beauty Masks. Really, really simple. Please do come back for the next video, which will be a little bit later on. Um, but you will be able to see it because it'll be showing in my um on my channel so do come back for that and if you make any please do share tag me in any pictures that you um that you share i'd love to see them thank you see you soon